what every time I go to the bar or like the club, like I just always have a one night stand. <laughs> you know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Not me though. I'm like recycling. I keep getting passed around. I'm kind of tired of it, honestly. The only real thing that was preventing me from having sex and going to fun places was the fact that I couldn't drive. Now that I learned how to drive, um, I'm basically a coochie on wheels. I am basically a mobile coochie delivery service. All of my friends are men that I have fucked before. <laughs> like literally all of my like really like best besties are just people I've slept with. So. Social media is like an open diary for women. They tell all the nasty secrets and things that they keep inside. They just cannot help themselves because they love attention. It is like oxygen for them. So they just open up about their personal life, things that happened in the past, things that's going on in their present and the stuff that they're going to do in the near future. Let me ask you guys a question. How many guys do you think that your woman has been with? The girl that you're in a relationship with now, you're probably dating, you're probably texting right now. And you probably think, she's the, the one for me. This is, this is my special someone. I really want to settle down with this girl. How many guys? Number one, you would never know. But number two, we can kind of calculate that right now, right as we speak. So let's say hypothetically, a woman starts to sleep around with guys at 18 years old. So she goes off to college, she does her thing after high school, and now she's getting down. She's getting piped down, she's sleeping with different dudes, and let's say she stops at the age of 25, right? We know women go longer than that, they sleep around until their 30s or 40s, but let's give her the benefit of the doubt. So from the ages of 18 to 25, that's seven years, let's say she sleeps around with two dudes per year. Right? Let's say three, because a lot of women, they'll hook up with a guy, then the guy doesn't want to be with him, then they hook up with another guy the next week, and, and then they get in a little relationship, then after that guy you know, breaks up with him or she breaks up with that guy, they usually have a phase where they sleep around, where they get promiscuous, and they hop from pipe to pipe to pipe. So let's say, hypothetically, a girl hooks up and has sex with three guys per year, and that's just being nice, because I've met women who's been plowed and gotten trains ran on them. I kid you not. Weekly. So three guys a year. Seven years. That's 21 different men. That has been in her body. And you think you're something special. See the reason why these women are settling down with you. And they say they want a long term relationship. Is because they see you as a nice guy. As a guy who's going to worship them. Who's going to look past all their flaws. And all their baggage. See, these women that you just saw, the four females in, that, in those clips, they don't care about uh, you knowing how many guys they slept with because there's always going to be one sucker. That's all they need is one guy to look past all that stuff. And I guarantee you it's going to be guys that know these women that come across these videos. They say, oh, how many guys you slept with? And they say, oh, you know, I was just playing. <laughs> I, I, that ain't me. That, that ain't me no more. I, I don't do that stuff no more. And these simps will say, okay, all right, and try to wife them up, and then they still sleep around on these dudes. That's why I tell you guys, she's not yours, unfortunately. It's just your turn. So just enjoy them. Use them for recreational use. Have fun. Hook up, hang out, just like all the other dudes did, and keep it moving. Now, the fourth female was, was really eye-opening for a lot of guys because you think that she has guy friends. Or her work husband or the guy that she's cool with. Oh, they're just friends. Or, you know, he, he's not straight like that. Or, so, you know, they, they loaned each other for a long time. He's like a brother to her, right? Wrong. They've hooked up, guarantee you, nine times out of ten. Or if they have not had sex before, just have that dude hit that girl up one day. Or your girl hit that text the dude and say, hey, you want to come over? You want to hook up? You want? Hey, I'm, I'm kind of uh, you know stuck at this uh, bar. Come pick me up. Let's have sex. You you think that guy is gonna turn that female down? You think he's gonna say, "Oh, we're just friends"? No, I, I can't do that. We're just friends. No, he's gonna make things happen. He's gonna have sex. So if a woman says, "I have guy friends," and and you know I've known him since elementary school. I've known him since high school. Don't worry about it. 
See, what she won't tell you, the dirty secret that these women are not telling you about their guy friends and the, and the guys that they are close with, or they'll say, uh, he's just like a cousin to me. Don't worry about it. Hey, and they introduce you to the, to the guy. I've been there. And they're like, oh, he's like a brother. And I'm sitting there like, oh, what's up, man? And I'm sitting there smiling because he don't even know that I piped her down a whole bunch of times. But now he's the boyfriend. He's the cleanup guy. And I still have sexual access to her, you know, but I just, you know, she wants to do her thing. So it's whatever. And I'm seeing other women, but I can still hook up with her practically any time I want to. Because once you get between a woman's legs once, twice, three times, more often than not, if things didn't end on bad terms and you're not really rocky, you can still get between her legs and those pants. So a girl will introduce me. Hey, this is my friend that I knew for a long time. I'm like, and they use a the code word friend because they don't want to say we're friends with benefits. We're still hooking up or I have access to her. So I'm like, oh, what's up? What's going on, dude? Hey, what's up, man? I'm D. You call me D. They're like, hey, what's up, D? And then he looking at me like, and I'm just sitting looking. I'm like, dude, you don't know. <laughs> Your girl has been ran through. She's been smashed. She's been passed around. My guys have hit it other dudes that I've know, but he's so happy and he's so excited that he he got a little cute girl. She got a nice little shape. He doesn't really know the game. He doesn't have an abundance mindset. He can't really look at a girl and tell, you know, you look like one of those girls. Haven't you guys been there when you meet a girl and you kind of just, you can just tell by the way she walks and her aura and her mannerisms and her behaviors and everything that, you know, you've been around the block. And most guys can do it. Even if you don't have that crazy amount of experience with women, you can kind of just look at a girl and kind of size her up and everything and maybe have a little conversation with her. And you can tell by either piercings, maybe sleeve tattoos or just, just different things that she's been sleeping around prior to you. And most likely she's still going to sleep around. So that's what most guys don't understand. See, if your girl was promiscuous prior to meeting you, and she gets with you, you guys get together. You think she's going to just automatically stop? There's an extremely high chance that she's not going to stop. She's still got to get back yet out there. And here's the thing. You can be the perfect guy. You can be a great dude. And then she's like, you know, it's not going to work out because she wants some new meat. She's itching for a new magic stick. She wants another guy to try out. See, th this is what women won't tell you, that they've been around and slept with a lot of different dudes. They got these guy friends. They, they can't wait to hook up with dudes. And here's the thing. Women have so much time. They have so much free time. As a man, we got to build. We got to work. We actually got to, you know, uh, lift weights. So just do whatever we got to do and stay fit, become successful, to, you know, and learn game and have confidence to get sex, right? Women, all they have to do is post a picture. All they have to do is go online and make a, a dating account or just, you know, post on social media. I'm lonely. All you have is a whole bunch of dudes is flooding her DMs and flooding her comment section. Said, hey, can I take you out? Hey, hey, you need some company? So if she has all these options that she doesn't even have to work for, all she has to do is exist. You think she's not going to capitalize on any of those guys? You think she's not going to say, OK, I, I feel like hooking up with this guy while you're out there grinding while you're out there working, putting in all this time and energy and money into the situation, all she has to do is, boop, 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 boop. hey, come over. Dudes are going to be lined up, dozens and dozens of guys. It's too easy. It's so easy. Listen, she didn't have to have a car. That one female Hispanic girl, she's like, oh, I got my car now. Now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on wheels. I can, I can get around. Dude, these guys will come miles come drive hours to go hook up and have sex with a girl it's far too easy for these females so guys don't be alarmed if you just witness a girl kind of sleeping around or you feel that your girlfriend or your significant other uh, might be looking at other guys or whatever the case would be listen you cannot avoid it most dudes want a girl who's clean squeaky clean that she ain't done nothing it's not going to happen. Now, she'll tell you that, oh, I don't get out like that. I have to get to know you. Oh, I don't I don't hook up on the first day because every woman, especially when it comes to a relationship and they see you as that long term material guy, that boyfriend guy, she's going to tell you what you want to hear because she wants to stroke your ego 
and make it appear as though and give you the illusion that, listen, I, I, I'm, I, I'm pure. I don't do that stuff. See, we got to take our time and you're going to be like, okay, you're not that type of girl. And the guys who are na naive and not, uh, not hip to the game and this information I'm telling you, they're going to be like, oh, she ain't like that, man. She, 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 dude, she, she been celibate. I've had women try to tell me oh, I've been celibate for three years. Oh, I ain't hooked up with any guys since in four years. I, I never had a one night stand. Really? The vast majority of women have had one night stands. You know how? Because it takes women giving their bodies up to a guy for a guy to say, okay, I'll be in a relationship with you. More often than not, if she ain't giving it up and spreading her legs for a guy and hooking up and having sex, the chances of that guy sticking with her is not going to happen. So they have to go through a lot of different dudes by like trial and error. Because that's the only thing that she really has to offer. The most valuable thing is sex. So you think she's not going to give it up to this dude? Hopefully he sticks around. Most men are not sticking around. Even these nice, good guys, they're not sticking around if the girl ain't giving up sex. So if they hook up and have sex and it's not good, or he's just like, eh, that's all I really wanted. How many guys do you think these women have been with? Just think about it. 